Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we will learn how to see this t table how to get our desired values from this t table value now if we look at this t table value here we have areas these are all areas under this curve these all values this shaded portion this value is given in your table over here okay and then if you look on the horizontal axis and vertical axis you will see that there are alpha or level of significance over here and then there are degrees of freedom over here you can see we have degrees of freedom over here and then we have alpha over it here alpha you know it is level of significance now important thing to learn over here the confusion that students often come across is which column do this see which column do they check isn't that the case we are not sure which column belongs to my question now for that first thing you should be very much clear that all these values that you are finding from this particular table all these values are for one tail tests this figure is very informative don't take this figure casually this figure is telling me that all the values over here are for one tailed test now if all these values are for one tailed test then where are the values for two tailed tests so if you ever come across a two tailed test we'll make certain adjustments for now let us stick with one tail tests how to find our required value for one tail test now let me consider the question your question is such that after analysis you find that you are having a situation which is one tailed 5% second question let us take one tailed 10% okay so first things first this 5% will not be available there as 5% rather it will be available as 0.05 this 10% will not be available as 10% rather it will be available as 10 by 100 or 0.1 this you need to take care and then so my first case is one tailed 5% if my question is such that i need to check one tailed 5% one tailed 5% what is 5% it is 0.05 0.05 this is your one tailed 5% value and suppose we are given that in both cases degrees of freedom are or rather not degrees of freedom we are given that n is equal to 20 if n is 20 so how many degrees of freedom do i have 19 because what is degrees of freedom it is n minus 1 so first question is one tailed 5% with n 20 so it becomes 0.05 with degrees of freedom 19 0.05 with degrees of freedom 19 this will give you your value this is your value 1.729133 1.729133 this is your t value okay now if i go ahead and find value of this 1 till 10% 1 till 10% is 0.1 very good 
I need two values. What is level of significance and what are degrees of freedom? Degrees of freedom are n is 20, so degrees of freedom are 19. So I need to check point 1 and 19. Where is point 1? Remember this is point 0, 1. I need to check point 1. This is point 1. And where is 19? This is 19. So this is point 1. This is 19. And my desired value is this one. 1.3277. T value becomes 1.7. Sorry, 1.3277. 1.3277. This is how we check T table for one tailed tests. Okay. Now we'll learn how to see these T values for two tailed tests. Now that we have this table imported over here, we'll make certain questions for two tailed tests and then we'll solve them. Or rather, we can pick these questions. One tailed 5%, one tailed 10%. Rather, we will solve two tailed 5% with n is equal to 18. And second, let us solve two tailed 10% with n is equal to 22 let us say so now let me pick first one two tailed five percent so because there are two tails so i'll be having two tails over here a tail on either side so this becomes a two tailed distribution now it is two tailed five percent so total rejection is five percent so on one side you will be having 2.5% on the other side you will be having 2.5%. Now if you have a look at this figure, this figure, you see that the areas given are on one side, rejection region on one side. So this is given. So no issues. My question is 2 tailed 5%. 2 tailed 5% means 2.5% on either side. I'll reject this portion now if i reject this portion am i not left with similar kind of portion you look here these two areas are similar so my two tailed five percent question has reduced to 2.5 percent 2.5 percent with n 18 n 18 means degrees of freedom are how much n minus 1 that is 18 minus 1 that is 18 minus 1 that is 17 so my question has reduced to 2.5 percent 2.5 percent is what 2.5 upon 100 which is 0 0.025 so it is 0 0.025 and degrees of freedom 17 0 0.025 here we have 0 0.025 and degrees of freedom 17 because n was 18 n is equal to 18 giving me degrees of freedom of 17 how much you travel over here you travel up from there it is 2.109 so t value is 2.109 was that simple don't know let us check it with our second question what is second question it is two tailed 10 percent let us make it up Pick one two tailed ten percent two tailed ten percent total so one tail will have five percent so five percent becomes five percent that is zero point zero five so two tailed ten percent has reduced to zero point zero five n is equal to twenty two will give me degrees of freedom how much n minus 1 n minus 1 that is 22 minus 1 that is 21 so i need to check it at 21 0 0.05 with degrees of freedom 21 0 0.05 here we have 
zero point zero five with degrees of freedom twenty one degrees of freedom twenty one and zero point zero five this value one point seven two d is equal to one point seven two so was that easy i believe so now if there are any confusions probably they'll clear out with more and more practice as we practice more and more questions in other videos for now thanks for watching bye bye